Okay, so I'm creating a j journal page to say thank you to everyone on the 29 um, gifts site. And I thought that I would show you the steps of how I make it. So far, I've written a nice letter to all of you. And now I'm going to spray it with some um, spray that I made out of lavender oil and water. And that will um, kind of like make it blurry and smell good too. So I'm just going to let that dry and then I'll be back. Alright, so while the pages dry, I thought I'd go on and do something else. So I cut out this little bird and flower out of some cardstock. And then I also cut out a bunch of art from the newspaper. And I'm just going to take a glue stick, cover the bird with glue. And then I'm just going to randomly place these on there. I want to kind of cut out this one wing though. Just kind of roughen it. go back and trim it all off of course. Oh Ben Webster, you play a fine saxophone. You're fine, you the name of that tune came out on an album called Music for Love. Nineteen fifty four Teddy Wilson on the piano, Ray Brown bass, Billy Joe Jones on the drums. And before then we had a little uh, YouTube snippets of Johnny McCaslin group playing Thursday night at the Cape Buchanan room on the HSU campus. Fifteen bucks. Find out more about it on redwoodjazzalliance.org. It's going to be a good show. We are coming up on the 8 o'clock. Okay, you get the general idea. I'm going to finish this and I'll come back and show you. All right, so there's the bird all finished. And I just colored in the flower with some magic markers real messy. And did the bird real messy too. Because I think that's kind of fun. It helps me break out of my whole perfectionist mode, you know? Alright, so now the uh, pages are dry. And so now I'm going to add a coating of white. It's just plain old uh, titanium white acrylic paint. And I just like to do it with my hands. I know, it's weird but I just like the feeling of paint on my hands and there's no reason to be precise with this so you don't really need a brush unless you simply want to keep your hands clean which is understandable and before I even and see how you how this works you can kind of see some of the writing still but some of it's covered, and that's what I want. That's the effect I'm looking for. I don't want to get any paint on my nice jacket. Ugh. So before this even dries, and, and before I even wash my hands, I'm just going to um, I'm just going to add another color. Hmm. Maybe I'll just add black. A little bit and and mush it together so that it makes gray just have fun with it I mean 
you can just do any, you know, any color that strikes your fancy. And this is the, these are the colors that are calling to me right now. Black and white. Does that mean I'm a black and white person? Person who sees things in black and white? Alright, so the pages are dry and now after they dried I kind of laid out everything on the pages to sort of decide um, where I'd where I'd want things and came up with sort of a composition but it might change as I go. Anyway, I don't know if you knew this but it's really easy to sew things into your journal. So I'm going to sew a little heart and I love bandana material so I'm using some bandana fabric and just going to start at the point and I'm not going to be at all neat. That's kind of the theme here. Because I think when um, when we try to be, I mean not to say that you shouldn't, you know, try to make things perfect if that's what you're going for, but so much in life seems to require that level of perfection. And it's kind of freeing to just go ahead and let yourself create in a messy way, knowing that um, it's not going to be perfect, but accepting it anyway. And it's a good lesson in life, you know, like as far as, you know, we can apply the same lesson to our relationships with people, you know, nobody's perfect, but we can still love everyone anyway. And that's a lot of what this website is about, the uh, 29 gifts, which I appreciate so much, and that is why I am making this little journal page to say thank you and express my appreciation. And see, I'm not even doing the same, the same stitching the whole time. Sometimes I'm going... over the edges, like the side stitch or whatever. I don't know what any of these stitches are called. And then sometimes I'm going like that. And I don't know what that stitch is called either, or if you can even really see what I'm doing, but my, my hand's probably in the way. I'm listening to jazz, as you can hear which I usually love, but sometimes when it's like this chaotic, chaotic trumpeting gets on my nerves. Alright, I had to, had to turn that down. I don't know if you guys could even understand me with all that crazy trumpeting going on. Anyway, you can mix up the stitches. You can do anything you want, you know? Like somebody made a comment um, when we were talking about journals yesterday that she never she had this like kind of rule going in her head I can't draw or paint in my journals I have to write in my journals but really journals are a place where you can do anything you know you can just express yourself and try new things and you know this is a good way to do it, taking this non-perfectionist -perfect point of view. It frees you up creatively, and, and it doesn't just apply to your journal pages. It, it can, you know, apply to other parts of your life, too, where you use creativity, doing exercises like this, if you know what I mean. Just getting comfortable with not being perfect, I think, is an important lesson for anyone to learn. So there's that. So I sewed that in. And now I'm going to go ahead and do some other things. I'll be right back. Alright, so now I'm going to assemble. 
I also made a little house. I just cut it out of a uh, newspaper. It's not quite dry, but that's all right. And then, um, and then painted it so you can still see what's underneath. I just thought it was needed somehow. And I might still add other things later, but for now, I'm going to put glue on the back of the bird. I'm just using plain old stick glue. And then the flower. And I want the flower to be in his mouth. Okay. All right. again. Just using a sharpie. And I'm writing um, my heart to yours. And it's pretty well finished now, except for I'm going to, I have these rubber stamps that I made um, out of erasers. They're really easy to make with an X-Acto knife. And so I'm just going to um, add some rubber stamping, just sort of balance it out. These are just stars. But they need to be darker, so I'm going to do that. Maybe my, I, I made one of my little dog bonsai. Maybe I'll add that one too. And then one yes, just for the heck of it. Yes. All right. That's it. Thank you. I love you all. Good night.